Let's have a bit of fun today and let's create a 2D vector lamp. So we'll start off with the background, uh, yellow. I've chosen yellow, you can select whatever you like. Uh, let's have a think, what does a lamp look like? So using these quick shapes, rounded tool, let's drag out a rounded rectangle. What can we do with a rounded rectangle? Let's have a look. Let's change the corners. So let's uh, convert it to a curve. What do we want to do? No, actually, let's leave it as it is. All right, let's leave it like that for now. What else do we need? Probably a switch. What does a switch look like? Now remember, practicing your drawing, nothing has to be perfect. I practice every single day. Um, not only do I practice, I actually use the figure designer every day because I'm a web developer. So I do everything within Figure Designer. So what does that look like? There, it's sort of like a switch. Yeah. What else do we need? Let's bring this down a little bit. Uh, an arm. So what do we need? A donut. The donut will do. That looks good to me. Normally I work from a reference, but this time I thought, let's just let's go from memory. What else do we need? A couple of arms. We need arms to hold up the switch, yeah? So, a couple of rectangles. There we go. Something like that. Maybe, eh, do we skewer it? No, well, maybe not. Let's make it thinner. Let's double the arms. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I think that works. And another duplicate these. If you if you didn't know what I did, then I hit um, Control D to duplicate. Let's bring that down a little bit. All right. There's the majority of it. What else do we need? The lamp shade itself. What shape would that be? Something like this. Yeah. Something similar to that. What I normally do is try and get the basic shapes in. Oops. Try and get the basic shapes in and then refine. Refine from there. And we'll duplicate that again. And what do we got? Okay. Something like that. Yeah, I could live with that. All right, let's refine it a little bit. What other shapes have we got? Let me just use that one. Yeah, all right, let's go with that. So, how can we how can we make this look better? Uh, let's see. Maybe if we give this shape here an outline, we give it a yellow outline. If we give it a yellow outline and we make that outline thicker, that enables us to give it a bit of shape here. And let's do the same for the swivel. Ooh. Okay, let's bring that on the top. Yep, that's all right. Let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I think I like this. Maybe make the small, the whole radius smaller. What does that look like? That looks pretty good. And let's give this a bit of a outline. What does that look like? Let's bring this to the top. Yeah, let's bring that to the top and shrink that down a little bit. There we go. And then we've lost our button. So let's bring our button up a little bit. Oh. Yeah, not too bad. Maybe shrink this down a little bit. What do we think? 
No, if you have if you're scaling like I am and the lines aren't scaling with it, just remember you can come in here and scale with object. And if you select everything within there and say scale with object, that'll just make sure everything you've got selected will now scale. So if I scale that, you can see that oh we can't really see it, but now yeah, that's because we don't have an outline on it. Let's keep that in that line. Now when we scale it, you can see it scales correctly with the object. So let's fix this. What do we want? We want to make that a bit smaller. So maybe something like that. Let's give it a thicker outline. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's bring this one to the top. And maybe scale down that outline. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe edit a little bit. Let's convert it to curves. Uh, let's flare out these, maybe. Let's flare out this. Don't like that. Maybe flare out that one. There you go, something like that. It's, it's kind of abstract. What are we missing? Missing a light. Let's, let's drag out a light. Easiest way, drag out a square, get rid of the outline, give it a white color, right click, let's convert it to curves, select our corners. What do we want? We want a, there's a light look. The light sort of looks like that, doesn't it? So maybe even, even with the ground. Yeah. Send that to the back. So I'm just hitting Control and the square bracket key. Now where have we got? We've got this line here. That's annoying, isn't it? All right, let's bring this to the front and let's just adjust this column to the edge. There we go. There's a little lamp. What are we missing? There's a lamp turn on. There's a cord. There you go. Yeah, in less than five minutes, we've created a lamp. Two dB to lamp. Yeah, maybe you yeah, probably flatten this bit off. The, let's be lazy. Let's just create a yellow color. Yeah. Let's flatten off this base. There we go. Ta da! Lamp. Not bad. So that's generally what I would do to practice. It takes a little bit of time, but have fun. It's, I think too many people get wrapped up in technicalities. Let's have a bit of fun with your drawing. It's the only way to learn. You know, from there, you can go anywhere. If you want to start creating a 3D lamp, Control C, Control V. So duplicate that, duplicate, duplicate that value, take off the outline. Uh, make it grey, give it a gradient, hit G, yeah. highlight, hit G, give it a gradient. Well, yeah, what do we need? Move it a little bit darker. There you go, here's a highlight. Same again, control C, control V, remove the outline, hit G to give it a gradient. Pretty good. So again, C, V, Control, V, Control, Copy, Control, Paste, remove the outline. Hit G on the keyboard, give it a gradient. Where's our light coming from? Right to left. You imagine the light's coming down this way. So let's, let's do this. So it matches, pretty much matches. So if you want an easy way to learn where the light's coming from, hit P, drag your pen tool, Yeah, use that as a reference. Change it to pink if you have to. Whatever, whatever you need to set. Use that as your reference if you like. That way, when you're doing your gradients, sort of try and follow. So if we hit G now, try and follow that line, the same radius or the same direction as that line, and you should be pretty right for anything you design. So highlight these. Control C, Control V, uh, G on the keyboard for gradient. Same thing. 
add a gradient. Grab this one, Control C, Control V. Take the outline, hit G on the keyboard for gradient, and follow that direction of light. And finally, this one, Control C, Control V, G on the keyboard for gradient, follow the gradient. Okay, you know, little 3D lamp. You can add a gradient to this. G for gradient. Uh, gradient, gradient, gradient. No, we don't want gradient. What we want, we want transparency. Uh, let's add some fallout for the transparency. There you go. There's a cute little lamp. What's that, five, six minutes? Have fun, hope you enjoy. See ya.